X-Men was the first superhero movie that really carved out a niche for the superhero genre. It was dark, fun, and faithful to its source material while taking some liberties. While modern cinema seems to be dominated by superhero movies, the X-Men series do hold a special place in people's heart. In its honor, let's travel back in time to find out what happened to the X-Men cast. When he signed on for X-Men and starred as Professor X, Patrick Stewart was already an icon on the convention circuit thanks to his seven-decade spanning career and his starring role as Jean-Luc Picard in Star Trek. Between the original X-Men and his final appearance in 2017's Logan, Stewart managed to fit a lot of animated voiceover jobs, recurring roles in movies, and was knighted by Queen Elizabeth II for services to drama. Born in Mirfield, England in 1940, he is now 82 years old. Long before he was cast as Magneto, Sir Ian McKellen had a reputation as one of England's greatest actors. He had a long and successful theatrical career, which translated into a successful movie career. He also brought another legendary character to the big screen with his portrayal of Gandalf in the Lord of the Rings and Hobbit movies. McKellen was awarded Freedom of the City of London in 2014, and as he was openly gay, the iconic actor strongly supported LGBT social movements worldwide. As of 2021, McKellen is 83 years old. Brent Morris has perhaps the most fascinating and lesser known career on this list. He went from playing the young Magneto in X-Men to playing the young Eric Lencher in X-Men First Class 11 years later. After X-Men, he moved into different roles within the entertainment industry, directing So You Think You Can Dance Canada and producing Cover Me Canada. He's continued to have behind the camera roles in several reality TV series. Morris starred in X-Men when he was 13 and is now 35 years old. Davison's acting career began in the late 60s and is perhaps best known for his turn as Jareth in Star Trek franchise. After starring in X-Men as Senator Kelly, Davidson returned to the Star Trek, appearing The Next Generation with Patrick Stewart. He also reprised his role as Senator Kelly in 2003's X2, which was also his final appearance in the series. Bruce Davidson joined the X-Men when he was 54 and is 76 years old as of now. With only a few small parts to her name before X-Men, Model turned actress Rebecca Romaine landed the role of the shape-shifting mystique. She was 28 then and is now 49 years old. She then went on to appear in another Marvel property, The Punisher. The dual roles of Lorraine Ash and Lily Watts in Femme Fatale and number one on Star Trek Discovery and Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Tyler Maine was a renowned wrestler before he joined the cast of X-Men as Sabretooth, retiring from the ring to become a successful genre star. Outside of X-Men, he's probably best known for playing Michael Myers in Halloween movies and Ajax and Troy. His latest acting credit was as supervillain Blackstar in the 2021 Netflix limited series Jupiter's Legacy. Born in 1966, Maine is now 55 years old. Ray Park was no stranger to blockbusters when he signed on to X-Men to play Toad, the mutant with a long tongue. He later found fame again as Snake Eyes in the two G.I. Joe films and as Edgar in Heroes. Park also returns to Star Wars, reprising Maul in Solo A Star Wars Story and Star Wars The Clone Wars. The British actor is 47 years old as of now. The ageless Halle Berry has appeared in many action movies over the course of her career, before and after taking on the role of the weather-controlling Storm. Her final X-Men appearance came in 2014's Days of Future Past. She also starred in the infamous Catwoman, The Call, and Die Another. The now 56-year-old actress has recently appeared in the action film John Wick, Chapter 3, Parabellum, and made her directorial debut with the Netflix drama Bruised. 2020. Pre X-Men, Jansen was probably best known for her role as Anaya Onatop in the James Bond movie Goldeneye. 
outside of X-Men and Bond, her biggest mainstream success was a co-lead role in the Taken trilogy. After passing down the role of Jean to Sophie Turner, Jansen appeared on TV shows like The Blacklist and How to Get Away with Murder, and worked as a director. The Dutch actress and former fashion model starred as Jean Grey for the first time when she was 36 and is now 58 years old. Before gaining prominence as the mutant with uncontrollable red beam of optic energy from his eyes, James Marsden's early career just included a few guest starring roles. After X-Men, he did a couple more movies with a recurring appearance in Ally McBeal. The now 48-year-old actor will next reprise his role as Prince Edward in the upcoming sequel to Disney's Enchanted, titled Disenchanted, and Tom Wachowski in the 2022 sequel Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Paquin had already won an Oscar seven years before she appeared in X-Men, which arguably made her the most successful thespian on the cast. Like many others on this list, her final X-Men franchise appearance came in 2014's Days of Future Past. Outside X-Men, Paquin was also the lead in HBO's hit vampire drama, True Blood, and appeared in Martin Scorsese's Netflix movie, The Irishman. The now 40-year-old actress resides in Los Angeles with her husband, True Blood co-star Stephen Moyer, and their children. Bobby Drake slash Iceman was Ashmore's most significant role in 2000. His final X-Men appearance also came in X-Men Days of Future Past. After X-Men, Ashmore appeared in more TV movies and TV series, with his biggest being recurring roles in the Superman show, Smallville, and the Amazon Prime video superhero series, The Boys. The 42-year-old actor is married to film executive Dana Renee Waston and has a son born in 2017. Canadian actor Elliot Page stepped in the role of mutant Kitty Pride when he was 19 and is now an established 35-year-old actor. Page has one of the most envious careers in Hollywood, starting out as a critically acclaimed child actor to become one of the youngest Oscar nominees in history at the age of 20. Page publicly came out as transgender in December 2020, and in March 2021, he became the first openly trans man to appear on the cover of Time magazine. Dr. Henry Hank McCoy, or Beast, the blue-skinned mutant with massive body, was played by actor, producer, and director Kelsey Grammer for the first time in 2006. He was 51 then, and is 67 years old as of now. Have been active since 1975, Grammer is known for his various works in theater and on television. Most notably was his two-decade-long portrayal of physicist Dr. Fraser Crane on the NBC sitcom Cheers. The female mutant in the 2003 sequel X2 who has a healing ability like Wolverine but is controlled by Stryker, Deathstrike was played by Kelly Hugh. She was then 35 and is now 54 years old. Hugh was a former fashion model, Miss Teen USA 1985 and Miss Hawaii USA 1993 before working as an actress, starring in numerous films including The Scorpion King, Cradle to the Grave, and TV series like The Vampire Diaries and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Before being cast as Wolverine, Australian actor Hugh Jackman was only known for starring in a few musicals. Jackman also made his final appearance in Logan, and for which, he holds the Guinness World Record for longest career as a live-action Marvel superhero. After X-Men, he worked with some of the world's greatest directors and starred in critically acclaimed movies like The Prestige, Les Miserables, and The Greatest Showman, and even hosted the 81st Oscar. The now 53-year-old Hollywood leading man has recently gone on The Greatest Showman World Tour and has happy family life with his wife and two children. Here you go, the cast of X-Men. Please leave a comment in the section below if you have any recommendation for us. And make sure to click the like and subscribe button to support us. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.